Hi, I'm John Crosby, an honorary professor at Glasgow University and external lecturer at Oxford University and also a managing director at Grizzly Bear Capital. I'm going to be talking to you about my top five on the subject of the relative merits of investing in hedge funds or in equity indices. Number one, what are the relative merits of investing in hedge funds or in broad-based equity indices? Long-term investors have the choice of investing in hedge funds or in broad-based equity indices. How can they determine what the relative merits of those investments are? Number two, what is wrong with existing performance measures like the Sharpe Ratio? It's very easy for hedge funds to manipulate Sharpe Ratios, either by selling deep out of the money options or engaging in dynamic trading strategies. Alpha can also be manipulated because it's uh, easily changeable by changing leverage, which hedge funds are free to do. Number three. What does 21 years of historical data on hedge fund performance tell us? A detailed analysis of 21 years of hedge fund performance tells us that on average hedge funds underperform major broad-based equity indices by between 2 and 2.5%. Two and Put differently, the Taking into account that the average fees, including the contingent fee, are around four and a quarter percent, it suggests that hedge funds generate an alpha of around one and three quarters percent, but take four and a quarter percent in fees, leaving the investor two and a half percent worse off on average per annum. Number four, the misleading reporting of hedge fund returns. Hedge funds traditionally focus on using monthly return data and reporting traditional measures such as alpha and sharp ratios. We've developed a new performance measure which is a measure appropriate for investors who are both risk averse and ambiguity averse. We also use return data at three and six month holding periods which is a much more realistic holding period for long term investors. We find that using our new performance measures at three and six month return holding periods, we find that hedge funds do less well than at monthly frequency in using sharp ratios. In fact, they underperform at major equity indices, not outperform. Number five, what are the implications for the hedge fund industry? The implications for the hedge fund industry are quite profound and rather negative. On average, hedge funds underperform broad-based equity indices by 2 to 2.5%. Two Note, this doesn't mean that hedge funds are uninformed, badly managed, or that the traders have no skills whatsoever. It simply means that the hedge funds extract in fees much more than the value they add before fees. So in the long run, investors are better off investing in broad-based equity indices than in hedge funds. Join me on the 9th of May in Budapest at the Global Derivatives Conference and for more information, click on the link below.